I'm still making spoken word presentations about conjecture as relates to the Las Vegas sh shooting that took place yeah, a few days ago. Okay, bad news for me. No concern to you at all. Should be no matter, I hope. I think most of what I was saying is probably wrong. Uh, let's see, what what did I have to amend? I kept saying, I, I thought... They were they were speaking of a what the shooter had a wife it was a girlfriend, and I mean I think sorry sorry about that it was a girlfriend not wife that I was I was conjecturing about. Also, what seems like reasonably reliable sources of information indicate that the girlfriend of um, Paddock probably had nothing to do with it and is probably entirely innocent. There was the talk of what type of consp if it was a conspiracy and what type. Now, because I would, my theory was at first, uh, the bird, the girlfriend, cherche la femme. I always wanted to say that it's a popular French phrase from the 1960s, and I just got a chance to use it. That's pro. She's probably not in it. It's still possible that there was a mystery person grooming him to carry off the act. It's still in play that he was some type of patsy. They're still on the. Uh, I'm still seeing uh, on the internet videos and articles and you know print articles claiming witnesses saw shooters in the crowd and that um, you know they saw people shot by persons other than Paddock at the con at the Country Western concert. There's several reports of that, and I can't verify a fucking scintilla of that shit but I'm allowed to talk about it okay I just like to present my side of the world from my little armchair somewhere in the weeds nothing matters maybe there is better I, I'm a philosopher I really am and I believe in the you know thinking people people are made to think and thinking gets results ultimately I believe in practical philosophies you know, I have a very diverse view of what philosophy is. I'm going to include my theory of entertainment. I've been weighing this into just about everything I've been doing. Entertainment value may simply be, it may be all you need. Another view is it that the same, the, pr the process of thinking, supposing, conjecturing, theorizing, trial, performing trial and error, primitive science at home, Oh, people may learn from it. An individual may actually. I do. I am driven by the idea that a theory I hatch could get some great results. At times, I feel the fool. Like that may be like the treasure map thing. It's like the treasure map you buy from the back of a you know comic book in the 1960s, and then you look for your treasure and don't find it. Uh, I'm one of those types in some regards. I'm a bit of a conspiracy buff. You know, I'm not exactly proud of being a conspiracy buff, but since I am, and and I have nice legs, you can't see them on this show, but I have nice legs, and I, you know, whatever. Let me get back to what I was really talking about. I was talking about the paddock uh, shooting in Vegas uh, earlier in the week. I've been through. I've been. I've been following stuff on the internet. I consider nothing to be very verifiable at this time. I consider my own input to be conjecture. Un I can't claim the word I'm saying is founded. My my features are primarily for entertainment purposes. Although I do believe in that humanistic thing from way back. It's good for people to learn from one another. A discussion. This isn't going to be a YouTube presentation. People are going to be welcome to comment on my presentation, and I hope they do. You know, I really like, I love a lively, civil, friendly discussion. I love a good discussion. People are really, on the internet, people get very mean, very mean, 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 very rancorous when commenting under people's YouTube productions. I hope that won't be the case. I'm prepared. I won't cry. I'm not going to go ballistic. I might get nervous. and get, I'll get angry for certain, but I won't do anything rash. When people say horrible things about me, if they say I'm equivocating, it's true. I'm, I'm doing that all over the place. I'm mixing, oh, I'm mixing a Golconda of theories. 
I've, uh, uh, so far, I've com- I've added in just for just for thought, the Kennedy assassinations, both of them, you know, JFK and RFK. There were similarities, such as reports that someone at the Country Western show had yelled, "We're all, you're all gonna die." Uh, there was a verbal thing, and with the RFK assassination, which young people said in the street in front of where the shooting took place. We got them. I forget what was said, but there, there was quoted to be an outburst, uh, you know, an incident indicating conspiracy or a weird coincidence or, or people were lying. Who the hell knows? It might have been a prank. I was thinking earlier regarding if it's true that somebody in the crowd of concert goers had, in fact, uh, announced that was said we're all going to die. I think I've heard people say exactly the same thing before drinking a case of beer. I mean, it may be just a common you know, joke, a camp, or, you know, a camp gag, you know, it's something people say when they're exuberant over their beer and their country western music, so I'm going to discount that, and I may be wrong again. So far, pretty much, I've kind of um, had to discount most of what I've said, because as more info comes in, and more opinions, uh, you know, well, I'm just kicking myself in the ass over what I've said so far, and I should I, I don't feel that bad about what I'm doing. I'm being, I'm being equivocal. I, I'm a thought pro, pro, I'm a thought provoking ass motherfucker in Pittsburgh. That's what I am. Thanks for listening, friends.